But dear young people, I ask you now to please turn your prayerful attention to that second reading that I read to you in your hearing, that passage of God's Word in 1 John chapter 5. And I read from verse 6 of 1 John chapter 5, verse 6, concerning the triune God. Verse 6 through to the verse 9. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. There are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. Well, again this afternoon we seek to continue our studies of the Confession of Faith, the 1689 Second London Baptist Confession of Faith, and we are now in chapter 2 and coming to paragraph 3, which concerns the second person of the Godhead and continuing our studies of the Trinity. God is one and yet in three divine persons. This is such an important doctrine for us to be thorough.